Shalom, greetings, and welcome back to another episode here is a Light Talk TV, where you get the raw, the real, and the unadulterated truth 24-7. Now, um, in today's headline, family, we got none other than Cam Yellow Hoodie, and I want to come to you guys with a quick update. Um, now, before I get into this update, as you know, I need y'all to get on that like button, run those likes up, okay? Subscribe to the channel and share this with every major platform out there that you know, okay? Let's run it up. Um, now real quick, let me say this before I get into this update about, uh, this dog and pony show that's going on with, with Cam Lil Hoodie. Um, you guys got to stop sitting down and listening to these, um, wannabe street bloggers. Okay. And the reason why I call them wannabe street bloggers, because they're going to try to coach you and tell you about something that they have never, ever been through. You know what I'm saying? Some of these bloggers, may have been to jail on a, you know, some stuff in and out, but they never had to be in them, um, you know, in them detective um, rooms playing real defense. You know what I'm saying? And so they could tell you, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, you shouldn't do this. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say this. And man, it's, it's just, it's, it's a bunch of garbage because when you look at everything that's going on, they're going to dry snitch and, and direct the police and get the police all of the clues that they need to solve the case. But I'm not going to say your name. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that, man. Get on up out of here, man, with that, man. We ain't trying to hear that, man. I've not been in there. I know how this game go. And y'all should know how this game go. Look at all of these cases that's going on. And, 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 and what are they doing? They snitch. You know what I'm saying? Look what's going on in the Dolph case. You know what I'm saying? Now, these dudes, before they got locked up, you better know and understand. They was running with one another saying, man, we keeping the street cold. We doing this. We doing that. And as soon as they get bumped and they get up under that pressure, what they do, they start talking. You know what I'm saying? So stop sitting down listening to these ignorant bloggers that don't understand what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They'll say, oh, well, I want justice for so-and-so, but I'm not going to say any names. You know what I'm saying? So what is the purpose of blogging and giving out all of the clues and, and giving all this stuff that detectives are going to take and use to lock people up? If, you know what I'm saying, they keeping these so-called street codes, man. So these dudes are just commercial, man, trying to get views or whatever the case may be. Make it seem like they something that they not. But at any rate, I'm going to give you the 100 over here. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, because I know how this stuff go. We got to stop this stuff that's going on in our communities. And we stop it by turning these jokers over to the police. Because what are we noticing? These same dudes that's running around talking about they street, they keep this and that. When they in them, when they in them um, detective offices, in them rooms, they can't hold water. You know what I'm saying? So you saving somebody else's child from going out there because no one understand if the people don't tell on you, the people that you with on the lip, they going to tell on you. You know what I'm saying? So now let's get into it, man. So now what I want you guys to understand, this stuff that's going on with Cam Little Hoodie, Yellow Hoodie is nothing more than a dog and pony show. You know why? Because we've all watched the video. OK, now they sit up there charging him with possession of a firearm. Now I'm hearing I cannot verify this. You know what I'm saying? They're saying that. Uh. They're charging them with possession of a firearm. You know what I'm saying? So most likely we saw the we saw the gun in his hand um right there, right when uh things uh got ready to take off. And then when the shots ring start ringing out, he ran into the bowling alley. So now people are saying that they don't have cameras in there, which would be madness if they don't. But nine times out of ten, when he ran into the into the bowling alley, the camera saw him with the gun out or whatever the case may be, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? So this is why they would arrest him uh, for a gun, you know what I'm saying, being out there, you know what I mean? And, and, and all this is is a dog and pony show. You know why? Because let's just stick to the facts. Do not get lost in the sauce going down rabbit holes that we know is garbage. When them shots start going off, little Cam, Cam Yellow Hoodie ran into the bowling alley. So we know beyond a shadow of a doubt he didn't make the fatal shot to take off, and we know. I'm going to say I'm about 90% sure that he's not going to tell on any shooter because he wasn't he he was running when the when the shots was going on. What can he tell the police? Now he may have heard, oh man, you know, so and so did this and so and so did that, but the real shooter is gone. You know what I'm saying? So this is why they saying, you know, if he want to talk to the police, he can, but he's not charged with nothing because they know that he did not make the fatal shot. The fatal shot came from that corner pocket. You know what I'm saying? Whoever was in that corner pocket took the fatal shot. So don't get lost in this dog and pony show. Nine times out of 10, Cam Yellow Hoodie ain't finna tell on nobody. Um, and then, and this is all allegedly, 
uh, most likely Jay Prince uh, Sr. went and got him an attorney. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, I mean, it's just a dog and pony show. We want that shooter in that corner pocket. We know Migo Bands didn't shoot. You know what I'm saying? People saying, oh, well, uh, the, the, the first reports was Migo. Come on, man. When you watch the video, we know that you, you basically would have to say that Migo Bands shot the first shot. You know what I'm saying? And we know that he didn't shoot the first shot because when you look at the camera, the camera, the camera angle, before Cam Little Hoodie started running, takeoff hadn't even dropped yet. And we saw that Migo Benz was already, he was already past that point. You know what I'm saying? So there's no way that he could have shot takeoff. You know what I'm saying? We know he didn't make the first shot. And when the shot started ringing out, he took off running up the hallway. Don't you think if they if they felt like Migo Benz really shot, they would have had an APB out for, uh, 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 for Migo Benz? Come on, man. They know what's going on. And they're going to use cam little hoodie to try to sweep this thing up under the run but we don't want cam uh yellow hoodie we know that he probably jumped it off and started it but he ain't the one who finished it we want the finisher so with that being said this y'all update y'all stay safe out there shalom